loco. I ain't made a video in a very long time. Like, probably like two weeks. <coughs> if this is your first time seeing one of my videos, thank you for stepping in. If you like what you see here, hit the subscribe button, comment, like, show your girl some love. Your love is encouraging, appreciated, valued, and sent right back to you. I ain't been doing nothing. I've been taking a break. I'm in a transition with my career. I'm transitioning my career. I'm taking a whole different direction of what I will be doing in my life as far as um, just everything. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so that could get a little all over the place. So I felt like I needed to take some time out to myself to do that. And I done took a lot of time off. I done took, like, within the past 30 days, I probably took, like, the past two months, I probably done took half of that time off. At least uh, three quarters. Three fourths of the time off. Because just basically releasing because I've been doing hair for 30 years to just start doing something else and go in a whole different direction is a great leap of faith. But I know what God called me to do, it could never fail. You feel me? But that don't stop me from having to deal with human emotions that come with it and healing wounds of, uh, healing wounds of overcompensating, uh, like not being able to give myself breaks and feel good about giving myself breaks. It's like I've been, I've learned how to now take breaks and not care what I got going on. Like really not care because I don't got to as long as I'm doing what's right for me. And what's right for me is taking care of myself, my mental health, my spiritual health, my physical health. That's what's right for me. And that is self-love. And I feel good to, to have learned it. I feel good to have learned how to be right in the middle of being triggered. Like, not even in the middle, just right within seconds of feeling the triggering sensation and able to assess my emotions, uh, talk to myself kindly without making myself feel like I did something bad, uh, accept that I'm growing, be grateful that I caught myself in that feeling and pay attention to why I'm feeling that way. So it's been, man, and that's all the process. It's just not something that you flip the switch on and you're going to be, I just made, I just said this in a Facebook video. I made a Facebook, I was on there singing and stuff. I haven't did that in a long time. So that felt good to like, like I got on there and made a couple of little videos singing for like 20 seconds or 40 seconds, but just to really have a session and sing, it felt amazing um, to let that emotion out wherever it came from i love music okay but i got off topic because i was about to say learning i mean learning how to heal when you when you're figuring out for yourself how to accept the healing accept the self-love it's not no light switch it's not something that just, oh, I turned it on and off. No. It's a gradual thing. And it ain't no cap on healing. So we always got to be kind to ourselves. We just got to learn how to 
create through our feelings. Take those feelings and emotions. When, when you taking them and dissecting them and learning something from it, that's transmuting it. When you taking them emotions from, like, when, when you be triggered or whatever, when you take and you do something with it, you can go fucking calm yourself down and be like, I'm about to clean up because cleaning up makes me feel better. That's transmuting them. Like, anytime you take a, a low vibration and raise it up to balance, Transmute. Okay. I haven't did a reading in 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 a in a, uh, in, I haven't did a, pulled any cards really in about four days or something. But I haven't made no videos to put up with the reading, so I was just putting one up today. And this Palo Santo smells so good. That's why I keep lighting it and relighting it because it's just something about it that smells amazing. It's it's. The scent, the aroma, the properties in it feels amazing. The spiritual healing that comes with inhaling it feels amazing. Feels amazing. That's why I keep lighting it. Okay, so God, angels, spirit guides, ascended masters, archangels, spirit animals. Thank you for helping me. Um, interpret the message for our highest good today. Thank you for a clear message. Okay. Let's start with the mermaids. I'm going to have to start showing my other decks love. Because I got a lot of decks. I probably got like like 12 decks I feel like and I only like four of them is the ones I use the most but that's just what I connect with but I want to show all my tools attention all of them because all of them bring different different out thank you guys angels spirit guys ascended masters archangels Positivity. Positivity. Positivity is all that matters. We need not focus on what we label as negativity because positivity is not always cute. Positivity uh have a motherfucker have positivity fucked up. And positivity That's what we need to focus on. Pos with, with positivity, I'm feeling authenticity. Because anytime you being authentic, you are being positive. You feel me? And being authentic is going to give you a positive life. Because you're not lying to nobody and you're not lying to yourself. We are not lying to nobody. We are not lying to yourself. I want to include myself because the message is for me, the channel, and whoever sees this message. It, it, it. We have a lot of tools that we cannot have laying around, basically. Like, we've been doing a lot of inner work, a lot of digging and diving. And tools have been shared with us. We've discovered our own tools. So, there's no sense of letting those tools sit in the toolbox. We have to implement them all the time. And those, one of those tools is positivity. Positivity kindness authenticity thank you God angel spirit guys ascended masters 
it's time to focus on being positive and positive is being authentic you're not lying to yourself you're not lying to nobody else this is what it is being positive is healing being positive is facing areas in our life where we uh don't want to look look in the mirror at positivity is facing those parts of ourselves positivity is seeing the ugly truth positivity is we not victimizing ourselves positivity is there's no outside person that can destroy me or wants to destroy me only i can destroy myself i have to have the peace with me because if i got peace with me nothing on the outside can rumble me or shake me and i'm gonna be positive Stay positive. A positive attitude can carry you through any situation. A positive mindset can literally change the future, allowing miracles to occur. This super positive mermaid is holding her arms stretched out as she calls you to allow more positivity into your life. Practicing meditation and affirmations can be very helpful in changing your mindset into a positive one. Positivity and negativity are two sides of the same coin. It's good to remember this if you're feeling in a negative state of mind, which sometimes happens in the human realm. All it takes is a different thought to flip the coin back to positivity. Someone in your circle could be needing your input of, input of positivity right now shedding light on a tricky situation literally through your positive disposition you through your positive disposition can make a huge difference to others when they are in a negative space sharing your positivity is a beautiful thing if those around you aren't feeling so great being close to positive people wait a minute my my brain was going off with scenario a scenario in, in my life and thank you God <clears throat> sharing your positivity is a beautiful thing if those around you aren't feeling so great being close to positive people is a bit like having your batteries charged just as being in their presence. Are you in need of a positive or of a positivity boost? If so, think of some of the things that lift your spirits. Perhaps meditate, meditation, a meal with friends, a walk by the ocean, or so on. It's a good idea to make a positivity checklist that can that you can use when you need a boost. This doesn't mean that you need to be positive all the time as that would be almost impossible. Positivity is key here. Sister, sister cards are hope and miracles. So if they appear together in this spread, it's time to swim up and take some notes. So yeah. So so right here where it is saying that um, it may be people around you that need your positivity i feel like we always want to definitely try to keep a positive mindset for ourselves sometimes we'd be just trying to do it for the world because that's how i used to be like i go places and be positive for the world but be in my head tearing my own self down and i feel like on that part to me it was saying just being positive with yourself and sometimes and if you don't have the energy to share with people you don't owe it to people um, you can't pour from an empty cup. I'm telling this to myself right now because um, I'm just learning how to stand and be here for myself. And when I get people to pull at my energy to say no if I don't have it, you feel me? Like, I'm learning that that doesn't make me a bad person. It doesn't make me selfish or unloving because I'm not that way. That's just not who I am. I'm self-loving to myself first and I don't have to feel bad or feel no way about that so um thank you God for that message thank you angels so this is a new deck called the spirit junkie 
think this is like my third time using this one. Thank you, God, Angel Spirit, guys, Ascending Master, Archangels, Spirit Animals, Spirit Guides. When I leave from a place of love, people respect me. When I lead from a place of love, people respect me. On the outside, when I'm observing people that walk in the world that know how to lead and lead with love, it's so, it inspires me a lot to be like that. And when I mentioned earlier that healing is a process, what I mean is like so many layers of myself I needed to deal with and I'm always going to be dealing with it but a layer was understanding that I'm moody sometimes and that I don't always my actions or my energy might not always been um, felt like I was being loving but the core of me the soul of me is always loving even when I don't fuck with people, you feel me? I don't wish them harm. I'm gonna love them still. So now I'm in a space in life where I feel like it's my responsibility. I don't even want to say my responsibility. It's my purpose to lead with love because love is my superpower. Like I'm really created to help people feel love. We all are though, but it's like, it's a little extra seasoning that come with me because everybody got a role in this earth and that's my role to really make people feel loved. And this card right here is telling me that uh, positivity and leading with love, no matter what, no matter, and I, I do that, but like, I'm not being hard on myself. I'm just um, sharing a moment that I had yesterday and there were customers coming out of the restaurant and it was uh, my associate and myself no we were coming out and somebody was coming in and it was like the people was gonna, gonna bump into us if we didn't move out the way and that was that's like a old old wound that I've healed that is like just probably need a little cocoa butter on the skin so the little flakes can go away. You feel me type of feel? <laughs> but um, for a slight second, I felt the trigger with that. You feel me? Because the way I used to respond in my younger days was very impulsive and violent in situations like that. So I felt a little thunder as I encountered that. But before I could get out the restaurant doors... I was already assessing the trigger like you know what I'm saying in those instances these cars today right here is telling me when I get in those instances it's okay to feel it I'm grateful for assessing it and knowing hey this is familiar I don't like this feeling but it's my purpose also to be positive but like I said positive is being authentic it's my purpose to lead with love. That's my purpose. You feel me? And I have the ability to make situations like that teachable for not only me, but for others. You feel me? For, and for it to really soak in for both of us. And that's what leading with love looks like for me. And when I witness people that have reached that level of healing it's very inspiring to me and it's a very healing thing because that is an inspiration for me to keep 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 putting cocoa butter on 
You feel me? Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Lead with love. Thank you, God. Thank you. Thank you. I'm grateful. I'm grateful. I'm grateful to be a, a conduit of love. I'm grateful I know how to put that in the world. And because I, I intentionally put that in the world, it come back to me. Because I intentionally put that in the world, it comes back to me. Thank you, God. Angel, spirit, guides, Ascending masters, archangels, spirit animals. Dare to be happy. Dare to be happy number 26. Like, all these cards go together. Like, thank you, God. Thank you, angels. Dare to be happy. Lead with love. Be positive. Be the example that the world needs. It needs it more than it's ever needed. It. Right now, it needs it every day, but there's an emphasis on it now. Like, it's time for all the healers to put that loving energy in the world so that we can ascend faster. I don't even want to say ascend faster because everything we got a divine order how it happened but it's in our divine purpose it's in our divine life path that we make that essential being happy but we don't want to we don't ever want to express we don't ever want to not be able to express our real feelings even if they ain't happy but we gotta choose to be happy because every human every day we get to, to be in this realm that we in right now is not always gonna make us feel good so we have to learn to ride the roller coaster if we feel sad it's okay to be sad but let's sometimes we can get a little comfortable in fucking being sad or being broken or being a victim. It's time to not live that way anymore. It's time to be the creator of, of our experience. And we do that the best and most fulfilling by choosing to be happy. Choosing to deal with our feelings so that we can find the happiness that we need instead of hiding them. Instead of acting like they don't exist. Because the only way you can get through it is to look at, look at it. The only way you can get through it is to look at it. Hold yourself accountable. Talk to it. Put it under a microscope. Thank you, God. I'm on the wrong page. I went to page. Alrighty. Okie dokie. The answer is simple. Dare to be happy. You are beginning to feel the vibration of joy. This is a sign that your spirit is finally breaking free from the prison of ego and you're reconnecting with your true divine nature your next challenge is to be openly happy even when those around you don't readily appreciate or even encourage your joy the ego is intimidated by this emotion because it has no power in that frequency it prefers to keep people in pain when you break free from its grip, 
it will try to lure you back by suggesting that your joy is false or temporary or worse, that you'll lose it. So there's no reason to bother in the first place. Your ego isn't only potential, wait a minute, your ego isn't your only potential saboteur. Those around you may try to steal away joy as well or distance themselves from you because of it out of jealousy or suspicion, perhaps or because your contentment makes them aware of their own lack of it. As they say, misery loves company, but happiness stands alone. Simply know that if others try to rain on your parade, it's not personal. They're watching you closely to see what joy is all about and are especially curious to see if it crumbles when tested. Stand tall in the joy of your spirit and let the world know that there's another option besides pain. Be especially cautious not to feel as though you must commiserate with others in order to connect. Share your joy, but be willing to stand alone in it too. One by one, others will become inspired by your higher vibration and begin to resonate with it, finding their happiness as well. In the meantime, enjoy your spirit and know that it keeps company with heaven. Thank you, angels. Thank you, God. Thank you, spirit, God. Thank you. And I ain't gonna lie. I'm, I'm experiencing what this says, but I don't even like to say people be jealous of me because I don't... It's like I learned to not place shit on the outside of me. I'm, I learned to not place what I feel my emotions, what vibration I feel off other people, whatever you want to name it. I've learned to not place that outside of myself. Sometimes I still slip a little bit, but I'm healing that too, and it's healing right on time. But what I want to say is I don't like to call people jealous. You feel me? But I will agree with the statement of when you start healing and you start choosing to be happy, and not bother in doing what's best for you, that people will, you will feel a vibration after outside of you. you. You will feel it. And for me, a person that learned I don't owe people nothing, that I give it to myself first, I really had to unlearn that recently. And I really had to learn to process and not victimize myself for not being able to hold space for other people and holding it for myself instead and just putting me first and standing on me first and what I love first because that's self-loving and ain't nothing wrong with that and nobody teaches us that so I had to deal with had to process I had to heal the wound of caring because I'm doing what's best for me and it will change your whole fucking view of things but we always got to uh, associate it back with ourselves because what we experience on the outside be us we draw that in because we on that vibration so we should also look at ourselves but if something don't agree or feel right with your energy be willing to let it go do not hold on to it do not second guess yourself Trust your intuition. Everybody got triggers in the world. You feel me? Just because something want, something triggered me, it might not trigger the next person like that. And, and, and it, and it kind of weirds me out that people feel a way when you want to be happy. Or people feel a way when you want to be yourself. It kind of weirds me out. You feel me? But I can't try to figure that out because... I lived a whole different path from them. I don't know what was instilled in them. I don't know what kind of um, childhood wounds and mother-father wounds they got. Because everybody got them. Okay, so one more card I'm going to pull. And that is the... Uh, what is this? The cussing one. 
rebel. I like this bag. I like this. I like this rebel bag because I say that on every video. Thank you, God, Angel Spirit, God, Ascended Masters. Uh, am I going to take all three of these? They just kind of fell out. Get over yourself. Pull your shit together. Help people. Give back. Do good shit for humanity. Yes, this is fucking accurate. Get over yourself, meaning stop thinking stuff on the outside that happens to you is about you. Yes, like I just said, we draw shit out. We draw shit to us because of our vibration, you feel me? But because we draw people we draw people to us for our, for our vibration is because they are on the same shit we are. You feel me? So we can't also can't hold people outside of us accountable for what the fuck we feel. So I feel like that's what that means with get over yourself and look inward for everything and don't victimize yourself. And you got a lot to give in this world. And, and, and it's so simple, so don't even try to figure out because all you got to do is worry about, not even worry about, all you have to do naturally is put love in the world. And that love is positivity. And that love is healing for yourself and for others, for ourselves and for, for others. It's dark and you can't see a fucking thing. Get your head out your ass pronto. Back to what I just... Back to this last card. Thinking it's about... Stuff is about you. About the, the way other people act. It's not. Get your head out your ass. Everything is about you. Boss up for you. Heal for you. Let them heal for them. Let them boss up for them. You feel me? If people... People want to uh, peek in your lane. What, what you going to put blinders on? You going to put partition around the whole universe? Can't, that's impossible. It's not meant to do that. It's meant to keep being you. Keep shining. Keep healing. Keep loving. Keep being authentic. Don't make it about you. None of it. You about you. That's what we need to focus on. Us about us. You are the best thing to ever happen to you. Go easy on your ass. Buy your own damn drink. Take, take charge of our lives. Take charge of our lives. Only we can fucking be our savior. Can't no, this making me think about myself because I just uh, had my friend that's working on something for me text me as I'm making this video and it made me think about how I've been procrastinating you feel me and that we are entering a whole new okay see this is where the this is where the battle sometimes come in because Trump used to be a procrastinator okay what am I trying to say It's like I would live on the opposite end of each, each spectrum with no levels in the middle. 